Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Back in 2020, Don taught us how to use a terrific screenshot and annotation tool called CleanShot X. He also did an update about the same tool in 2022. Now, I'm still a big fan of CleanShot X, but I'm also a huge fan of another app in this category called Shotter from Shotter.cc. When I first heard about Shotter, my first thought was, I already had the best tool in this category. But after using it and learning all of the ins and outs of the application, I find it to be a delightful and less expensive alternative. I wouldn't say one tool is better than the other. They're just different and have different capabilities. To start with, Shotter has a very interesting pricing model. There's three ways you can go. You can download and use Shotter for free. After 30 days, though, it'll start asking you to consider upgrading. It's a very gentle nag, though. In fact, the developer refers to it as the annoying fellow. Now, the basic tier is the grand sum of $8. I've told the developer I think he has it priced too low, but he's chosen this price, and this gives you all of the features of Shotter. Note that a license is required for commercial use. Finally, if you'd like to really support the developer's work, you can choose to give him $25. That makes you part of the Friends Club. At this level, you get bragging rights, access to experimental features, and better support. On our first launch of Shotter, we'll be invited to set up hotkeys, also known as keyboard shortcuts. You can always use Shotter from the menu bar app if you prefer, but let's set up those hotkeys first. If I select that button, it will launch Shotter preferences to the hotkey section. By default, some keyboard shortcuts are set for full screen and area, but these aren't the keyboard shortcuts our fingers know and love. At the top of the window, it explains that if we open System Preferences, or it's now called System Settings, and we uncheck the system defaults for screenshots, we can assign those keyboard shortcuts to Shotter instead. I already have System Settings open to the correct area, so let me just slide it on in here. The two main ones we want to remember are Shift-Command-3 to save a picture of the screen, and Shift-Command-4 to save a selected area. But I'll uncheck all of them, and then select Done, and close System Settings. I'll click in the full screen screenshot and hit Shift-Command-3 to assign that keystroke. And then I'll do Shift-Command-4 to an area screenshot. You can see we have a lot more options here to assign keystrokes, but I'll leave these as a teaser for some features I'll be demonstrating later. I will assign Shift-Command-O to show Shotter so I can launch it more quickly than using the menu bar while we're working. I'm also going to assign Shift-Command-8 to OCR as we'll be looking at that feature straight away. I'm going to leave Preferences open for now, but let me select the General tab because we'll be referring to it quite often. 